All right, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh, Bashim, El Shai, Bashim, El Kakrash. So, all praises to the world called God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, Bashim, in the name of Yahweh, Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Um, and peace and mercy to the overlay preaching, word and truth and sincerity on the brother tells the Bible of will with another video to edify. And, um, And um, I want to make a response on this. Um, these dudes is bugging out, and it's like Jake want destruction. Like this dude had years of preaching the right words, and this dude had years of preaching the right right words, and I don't know where he's switching up the doctrine. What you do is take a bag. You know, suffering poverty was too much for you. Being being <laughs> being able to take the low road was too much for you. What the fuck is going on? Hey, I'm I wanna play this. And I wanna address something that he said in his video. So we can get down to the bottom of this. children of Israel and bring them back to the land as an offering like the scriptures say we are whole except for the service between two go ahead it shall come to pass it shall come to pass that ye shall divide by lot for an inheritance unto you and to the stranger that shall join amongst you we shall right there when it says for you the Israelites and the strangers among you who are the strangers who are the strangers they're Israelites outside of the land. So technically, if you're outside of the land of Israel right now, some of us are in New York, some of us are in Florida, some of us are in Texas, some of us are in California, some of us are in Philly. We're all considered, based on the, 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 the word stranger, the definition, we are all considered strangers. So, so in the kingdom, we're going to have to go back to the land and then if you're a Judah, and then we're going to know, oh, this brother's a Judite. We thought you were a Levite, but you're an actual Judite. We thought you was a Reubenite, but you're actually, actually an Ephraimite, because we're going to know who, who the different tribes, the separation of tribes. And then they're going to get their plots of land back. The part with the strangers are also talking about Israelites. We are considered strangers. Don't be your children amongst you. They're gonna be your children amongst us. Go ahead, and there shall be unto you as born in the country among the children. He's talking about Israelites, man. And you know that. Israel. Yeah, they're gonna be unto you like, like they're born in the country. Why would he need to tell you? And that the the uh, children that were born in the country that actually goes back to the law. Right, and here's the law, Exodus 12 and 49, it says, One law shall be to him that is homeborn, and unto the stranger that sojourned among you, because the stranger that was sojourned among, you had the, uh, when the Passover came around, you had all these Israelites coming from their respective inheritances and lands that came to, it, that came to Jerusalem to worship. So you can't, <laughs> these dudes are just, just casting all it away. Shall be as one born in the land, meaning everybody would have that inherited right. This dude is just bugging out, man. You see him in, and um, I've had the displeasure of seeing it before. You see him men decaying the spirit right in front of us, and, and the Lord is going to start putting out judgment. The Lord going to get you fucking niggas, man. And then you use the credibility that you that you that you gained by being within Great Millstone to push your new bullshit to bring in the heathen. Well, why wasn't you doing that while you was around brothers? And the pride gets on these men so much that they don't even consider those things. 
the Lord is going to do something. Let's, but let's, let's start covering, you know, this, this, this nonsense that they preaching. This is Numbers uh, 23 and 9. I got to start up. Numbers 23 and uh, start at 6. It says, and he returned unto, unto him. And lo, he stood by his by his burnt sacrifice, he and all the princes of Moab. And he took up this, his parable and said, Balak, the king of Moab, had brought me uh, from Aram out of the mountains of the east, saying, come and curse curse me Jacob and come defy Israel right how shall I curse him whom the most high had not cursed or how shall I defy whom Yahweh had not defiled from the top of the rocks I see him and from the hills I behold him lo the people shall dwell alone see he was given the prophecy back then so I'm sitting there telling Jake trying to act like the heathen are going to be right along with Jake. The scriptures tell you that Israel was going to dwell alone. You see, they wouldn't be right next to each other, right next to Israel, shoulder to shoulder, getting some of the same blessings. Hell no. You're going to be under us. Right? You're going to be possession, like 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 I said in the, the Ten Commandments movie with Charleston Heston. Uh, Pharaoh, he said, <laughs> he said, you're, 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 you're going to be a possession like my horse, like my chariot, all that. That's how the heathen are going to be to us. It says, and shall not be reckoned among the nations. You see, not be reckoned. Let's get that word for reckon. Numbers. Why is this not working properly, man? Here you go. For reckon, the word for reckon is kashab, kashab, kashab. And it means what? To think, plan, esteem, calculate, invent, make a judgment, imagine, count. You're not going to be counted among the other nations. It says to plan, devise, mean, charge, impute, reckon, to esteem. Right? Be computed, be reckoned. To think upon, consider, be mindful of, right? We're not even going to be mentioned in the same breath as the heathen, right? So these men sitting there trying to sit here and say that uh, Jake is gonna, the heathen are going to be a mingled among us, and they can bring up bring us as a as an offering to the Lord. There ain't no offering you can do. The scriptures say a, a woman might forget. But the Lord never forgets. <coughs> uh, let me get that real quick. This is um. Isaiah 49 and 15. It says, Can a woman forget her suckling child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yeah, they may forget. Yet will I never forget thee. Behold, I have given thee upon the palms of my hand. Thy walls are continually before me. Right? So the Lord didn't forget us. The Lord didn't just sit here and say and forget the promises he made with us the promise was that we would dwell alone it didn't say that the heathen were going to have an 
inheritance right along with us. They'll have their own perspective, inheritances in their lands, but they're going to be as tributes to us. They're not going to get a, a blessing like we're going to get. Y'all spreading lies, and, 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 and we going to see if that bag going to fucking save you. This is um Deuteronomy 33. And uh, 27 says that eternal power is thy refuge and underneath are the ev are the everlasting arms and he shall thrust out the enemy before thee and shall destroy them. Well, we can go to the description Psalms, the 83rd chapter where it goes through all the enemies. So where is it written that the enemies are really going to be with us if the Lord promised that he would thrust them out and destroy them before us? All right, Israel shall dwell in safety alone. It says the fountain of Jacob shall be upon a land. It shall be a, shall be upon a land of corn and wine. Also, his heaven shall drop down dew. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved of Yahweh, the shield of thy help, who is a, who who is the sword of thy excellency. And thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Is it, did, did it say a certain select number of Edomites is going to get salvation? No. Lying motherfuckers, man. And I hate a lion. I hate liars, bro. Second is 3 and 36. This is, um, I'll start it, I'll start at 34, it says, Way therefore our wickedness and theirs, uh, our wickedness now in a balance and theirs also that dwell in the world, talking about the heathen as well. It says, and so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel, right? So how are you going to get salvation? How are you going to get deliverance? If the Lord said his name is going to be found anywhere but in Israel. These dudes are just, just, just conniving like a motherfucker, man. Or who... Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Um, it says, uh, thou shalt find that Israel by name had kept thy precepts, but, but not the heathen. Well, the scriptures say sin is the way, the wages of sin instead. So how in the heathen, how in the hell is the heathen going to get mercy? Over the Lord's people. And they not even keeping the precepts. The commandments of the Lord. None of that. You, you, you niggas man. Y'all some niggas bro. And I don't mean. I mean I'm not even like that. To put people on. On, 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 on the map like that. But y'all some fucking niggas bro. This is uh, Galatians 3 and 14. It says. That the blessing of Abraham. Might come to the Gentiles. Through Yahweh Shai. Right. Now, are those Gentiles talking about it, about for actual people that don't go back to Israel? Or is it always talking about Israel's salvation? Right? Who was promised the blessings? Was the heathen promised it? Or were the blessings simply promised to the Israelites? You got to go to the promise. Right? And it's going to go in that a little bit down. And it says, uh, through Yahweh Shai, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through the through faith. Well, we just got that nobody else keeps the precepts of the Lord. The scriptures tell you that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. So the only way you can have faith, right, is through what? The precepts of the Lord. The heathen don't have that. It says, brethren, I speak after the manner of, of men, though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, then how was it confirmed? Well, when Moses uh, gave the words, the, the people said, uh, let it be. And he sprinkled the blood upon the people. It says, yet if it be confirmed, no man disannul it or add it thereto. So you add in the heathen to this promise, and the Lord ain't with it. It says, now Abraham, it says, now to Abraham and his seed where the promise is made. He said, not to seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is a Mashiach. And who is the seed of a Mashiach? Israel. These dudes don't know shit. These dudes don't know shit.
confused and lost in the sauce. Shalom.